In today's 3D Printing 101, I'm going to show you how you can use factory files within Simplify 3D to save yourself time, money, and frustrations when it comes to your 3D prints. Let's get started. But first, what is a factory file anyway? Well, within Simplify 3D, a factory file allows you to save everything you've created within your Simplify 3D session. So you can open it up at a later date and everything's there waiting for you ready to go. This means it includes your 3D models, your orientation and layout details. It also includes your custom support settings and all of the detail you put into making your parts have the best chance of success. And best of all, it then compresses everything so you can send it to friends who want to print the same thing and they can try it out on their machines no matter where they are anywhere in the world. So with all of that out of the way, let me show you four awesome ways you can use factory files. Okay, so use number one for a factory file, saving a layout that you may want to print again. So this is definitely how I use factory files the most. So I'm gonna open up factory file and open up my MakerCoin batch. And this is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Basically, I've got a nice batch of MakerCoins here. I printed heaps of them out recently for a Maker Faire. And essentially this lets me save a layout very quickly and then I can assign it to diff my different printers. So currently uh, it's set up for the, I think the CraftBot Plus, but I can change that as I like. And basically I can just very, very quickly go between uh, my different machines and send them a batch of Maker Coins. So that's one way to use a factory file within Simplify 3D. And the next way to use a factory file is to save a complicated project that you may want to print again. So this is a batch of screws and this took me a long time to set up because all of these screws have been manually moved into place because normally if I was to center and arrange these screws in Simplify 3D, they would give them a bit of spacing, which is what you normally want. But in this case, I don't. I want these screws to be close together because I've got a special kind of dense support structure that's holding them all in place. So that way when it builds up the sort of shafts of the screws, they won't fall over. But it goes beyond that. I've got two different processes within this factory file, and one of them goes up to 10 millimeters high at 0.25 millimeters of Z layer height. So that's quite coarse, will print quite quickly. But then after 10 millimeters, I've actually got 50 micron layer height. And let me demonstrate to you what that will look like by selecting both and hitting OK. So as you can see here, the top of the screw heads look quite smooth because they've got the 50 micron layer height. But as you scroll through, it goes down to the sort of shafts of the screws and that very dense support structure that I was talking about that holds those shafts in place so they don't get knocked over. Now this did take a long time to set up, as I said, which is why saving it as a factory file is very valuable so I can come back to it at a later date and make tweaks as necessary instead of having just a G-code file and then having to sort of redo all of this because I ain't got the time for that. And another great way to use factory files is to send a factory file to a friend. So if you've got a model you've spent a lot of time preparing within Simplify 3D with custom supports and that sort of thing, you can send it to someone else and then they can print it on their machine. So this is the Deathclaw puppy that I designed for my sister. Uh, for her birthday last year. So it's a puppy with a death claw head meshed onto the top of it And it needed a lot of custom support structures as you can see around the horn here Which I spent a lot of time on so I saved it as a factory file So I can come back to it and something that I find very powerful by saving a factory file instead of just keeping a g-code file is for example if I select this model and if I wanted to print it at a smaller scale, for example, maybe I want to print it at 50% size, maybe I've got a 0.2mm nozzle I'm trying out, I can enter 50. And what's very cool is the support structures scale with the model. And you can't do that with a G-code file, but because I've saved it as a factory file, I can do that, then I can slice it again and send it to the machine. And finally, factory files are a great way to troubleshoot 3D printing issues. So I, as we know, 3D printing hardware is one side of the coin, but the other is your slicing and layout and your settings within your, your slicer that determine the success of the print. So as an example, this factory file could have been sent to me by a fan, for example, who was having issues printing this part here. And they might be wondering, why, why isn't it working? It, it doesn't look like it needs supports. Uh, Angus, what's going wrong? So I might sort of fire up my version of Simplify 3D, load in the factory file, and have a look at it and be like, yeah, okay, 
there is overhangs there. So I can see what you're doing with your manual support on other models. So what I might do is go in with customized support structures and I might generate my own support like this. But you know, because I've got experience with running 3D printers, I know that this detail here with the edge, where if I zoom in, it's very thin. And I know that that's often gonna be an issue with adhering to the print platform. So what I might do is actually come in here and add some support material just down here. And the purpose of that would be to try to just give it a bit more surface area when it starts printing. You know, something like that. And it, it's something that if you're new to 3D printing and new to running a sophisticated slicer like Simplify 3D, you might not think about. But going into the G-Code preview, you can see that these little bits of extra support here, as it builds up, will just kind of give it a bit of extra support, I suppose as it builds that edge and you're much more likely to succeed instead of it breaking free. So thanks for watching this video on using factory files within Simplify 3D guys. It's certainly an awesome way to package things up into just one file format you can use down the track to print things again without having to try to guess how you had things laid out and all of that sort of thing. And a big thanks to Simplify 3D for sponsoring this video on Maker's Muse. And if you are new to Maker's Muse guys and want to see future 3D printing tips, tricks and reviews in Simplify 3D and also 3D printing in general, maybe consider subscribing. It helps the channel out a huge amount and I'd love to have you on board. My name's Angus and you've been watching 3D Printing 101 here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later. Bye.